Hello everyone, my name is the Courier 6 or I just renewed my channel to Courier 6 a few weeks ago. It's the time of me making this video and uh to try to become a human. I forget, I think it was like two years ago or something like that. It might have been like twenty eighteen or something like that when this game was on PS Plus. I was really hyped to play this game, but uh for sure for some reason I never played it and now I'm gonna play it. I mean it always says continue and I actually did complete the game like earlier today, but I might as well just do a playthrough on my channel, actually. That, that's what I was actually planning to do. I'll probably do this for other games, like on Toad Dawn or whatever. But yeah, uh, I'm going to start a new game, and I'm going to make some different choices from what I tried doing, which is I try my best to be a pacifist as Marcus and s stay as uh, a machine as Connor. Probably stay as a machine as Connor, but yeah. I might do an actual review on Detroit Become Human, Human, and a few other games like maybe Neighborville or or something like that. I plan to make a joke kind of video that will explain how this how Neighborville kind of died, or uh, yeah. Anyway, might as well just go on with the game. Connor is basically the machine hitman, kind of, sort of. So I really like how this HUD is and everything in this game and how like, I don't know, just how everything is. Okay, I don't know how I screwed it up. Like, I know it can possibly be Terminator kind of stuff, where robots that humans create can turn against, or robots can turn against the humans, but I don't know, they could still be living beings as long as you give them that. Oh, we said a swear. No, it's okay. Honestly, I really don't know what to say in this. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. For some reason, I feel like this guy is like made out to be like some kind of character we're gonna be encountering lots, but you only encounter him like two times in the game. Kind of only once, at least from what I know, but yeah. Kind of.
since there's three characters in this game, it would be a really cool idea for, I guess, a group of players is that three different people all play as three different characters, honestly. Basically, that means by the end of the game, only one of those people will actually, like, either all of them will live or all of them will die, or only one of them thanks will live, because Connor technically is the only one that can kind of live, sort of. actually here when I first played this. I like how this detective kind of stuff is on a scene in this game. Honestly, if we had actually more time to play as Connor, it would be pretty cool to play, basically. It's going a lot more slow than usual, but I mean, I don't know. if I will take the gun but uh when I first my my first playthrough uh I chose not to take it because it said androids and all that take or whatever.
good. Just in case. I even also noticed this. We might be out of time, so yeah. Stay back! Don't come any closer, or I'll jump. Eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I'd kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Damn, I lost my tie. Are you armed? You don't have a gun! You're lying! I know you have a gun! I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. Forget how shitty this game is. I did it's earlier. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know. But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Did I just save her or something? Or she did. Oh, she survived. So that's how I save her, or without me having to die. What I know, I'm pretty sure he either dies either way, I'm pretty sure. I 
this is honestly one of the best video game openings I've ever seen, honestly. It's, I really like how it's just, I don't know, kind of quick and everything. A 6% actually shot the Deviant for some reason. Whatever. In three months pass. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' homework from elementary school up to university. Could be wrong, but it feels like they have like different models. Like every time you restart the game, like on this entire range. they switch the models. I mean, I don't know. It does absolutely all the work around the house: painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At we'll night, <laughs> an excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along. Yeah, we're good. I don't like this guy. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. She said her name is Kara. Oh, it's kidding, but. Oh no. I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing uh, for this, I guess, first episode or part or whatever. Because I'm already kind of uh, tired and sick. Uh, probably just became 11, I think. I don't know if this game actually was, like, I guess, open road kind of. end up doing streams I think for uh, maybe this series I mean it's really unlikely but uh, yeah about this game uh, feels kind of like uh, sort of the opposite of heavy rain sort of I mean heavy rain had a lot of raining in it and this game has a lot of snowing in it I mean yeah kind of I don't know and under six days this entire city just gets changed and it also starts snowing lots When I took the survey thing it for like which is the best character, I said Connor is the best character. Second would probably be Marcus, I guess, but uh like I thought Marcus may either be yes. the most favorite or the second yes, most favorite, but apparently he's like the least favorite apparently. It's kinda of surprising. What I really like about this game and overall just the people who make Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls. I never played Beyond Two Souls, but I might actually play it sometime. And like Detroit Become Human is 
the choices you actually make actually matter because or just every kind of choice you kind of make kind of matter it's not like telltales were were uh make you save uh ben like in episode four the walking dead uh he just dies in the next episode carly or doug they'll just die like two episodes from then Chopping off Lee's arm does nothing, you still die, and yeah, but in this game, your choices do actually matter. You save me actually end up surviving to the rest of the game. Honestly, Walking Dead Season 3, or The New Frontier, had a, what was good about it is that you can keep someone like uh, Conrad, I think that's his name, I always call him Comrade, I don't know. It's, it's not like that's just how you pronounce it, I don't know. I don't know if that's even an actual phone, an actual name you can actually have, but uh, Identification verified. So you can actually keep him alive though throughout the entire season, which is pretty cool. If I played the game, I'd probably keep him alive. Here is your order number eight four. He has actually pretty good art on how like you can keep him alive and everything. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Mark's first words is payment confirmed. I also really like how these games normally will have another like protagonist and I feel like one of the reasons why they have different protagonists is because others can die. This game is already like three or so years old now, maybe not, I'm pretty sure it is. So, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go over there, uh, basically. Anyway, uh, so, what was it? oh yeah, characters, uh, because, I mean, this game's only like three years old, so, I guess, spoiler alert, but characters like Kara can die near the beginning, Marcus can die halfway, and Connor can die at any time, but Connor can just come back, so he technically doesn't die, it's just that his body dies, and then, normally gets transferred, but he loses some information. I do like how much, how replayable this game is, though. People who are going to be watching this video, uh, I mean, you guys don't have to do this, but I don't know. I want to know your guys' opinion. If androids or robots were actual, I guess, things that are fallen created and actually lived among us or were with us, basically, would you guys think that they are actual living beings or just robots, something, or just something that never. Okay, uh, it's. You, or just, I want to know what you guys would, uh, like, do you guys think they would be, are they technically living beings, is what I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't even know what these extra options are. I like how they have all these, like, uh, have all these, like, uh, like, options you can choose, basically. Or all these things, I guess. I don't know if we'll be able to actually fall and, I guess, keep him alive. Todd, specifically, I'm talking about. Two weeks and the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice, Alice. Oh, there you are. 
That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. I can't really tell if, uh, the reason Todd is actually falling, actually mad at her all the time, kind of, is the fact that she's not the actual, or I guess, spoiler alert, kind of. This game's, the game's, like, you know. Uh, okay, it's not working for some reason. I don't know why. Here we go. Anyway, for some reason, uh, or anyway, uh, the she's the fact she's not the actual full-on daughter. It's more of she's just a clone or a robot kind of version, sort of of her android. But we don't know that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, until like later on. Actually, basically until near the end of the game, kind of. Well, depending on I think certain stuff. I don't Maybe. know. Last time I played the game, uh, took. I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how long the game technically yeah. took, but it seemed like it took around like six or so hours to beat. I'll bring it tomorrow. Like for some reason, yeah, things aren't working. Sense. Yo, she's being a creep. You know, is this a horror movie now? And at times this, guy, this game kind of feels like a bit of a horror movie. Sometimes it did, kind of did kind of scare me a bit, sort of. I mean, random, like, I guess, like, I was not expecting kind of scenes, sort of things. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. I was gonna get him jugs, too. Oh, I don't want to open that. Let's go get him the drugs. Oh yeah, I forgot the drugs ain't here. Uh, hold on. Can I? So I wonder when my video ever get taken down or channel or whatever because of all the swearing or whatever because this game definitely does kind of sort of have a lot of swearing kind of I don't know. People are racist androids that's for sure. Out of the okay. way for fuck's sake! <laughs> okay that is actually some that, that is actually good detail. Uh, but I actually want to know what would actually happen if I actually did do that. Oh that's... Oh, that, 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 I actually like that detail though. Well, what if we just watch the TV? No, I'm just gonna already know what's gonna happen. We might as well just watch it anyway. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Nicest man I ever met. house really reminds you of Heavy Rain's Alice, house. You better stop that right now! Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing I don't know why you're always talking to yourself. I mean, I know you're a druggie and a drinker, but I'm just saying. The thing I want to bring up is, uh, I was watching, I guess, videos about Saw, the, like the films and whatever. And I realized how much of, a uh, I forgot. Uh, how much like the the game Heavy Rain kind of is of Saw kind of got a huge simulator. -y. Gotta do all this stuff. Ethan got to cut off his own hand. Gonna drink poison, which will most likely kill him. He's gotta jump off the roof. I'm just gonna. Well, I mean that's kind of optional, but I did that in the game. Escape the police, and yeah. 
feel like this thing's not even working. What am I missing? I'm surprised no quick time event where you have to spam X a bunch of times and whatever. I do like though actually how at the beginning of, oh, for damn sake. if I can actually do it right but for some reason since I'm recording a video it's harder to do it now all of a sudden maybe because I'm talking or whatever but that's really unlikely but I like how this game at the beginning kind of actually gives you a hint that Alice might actually be an android but m some of us probably don't notice it since uh, I don't know So with this playthrough, I'm gonna this playthrough, I'm gonna try uh, to actually. Okay, if I can actually. Uh, he's doing the greatest thing ever. Seems like he's enjoying it. When I was actually, I think, playing the game, uh, I kept on hearing him, like, I don't know, make sounds like that. I was like, what the hell is going on? And then, like, and I think later on, or, well, I mean, I kind of did find out when I did see that, like, he was doing the drugs, so, yeah. Red at, I forget, I think it's called red acid or something like that, or I forget. Don't know if it's an actual drug, it might be. I don't know. I wanted to, I can go search it up on my phone. Blue. I like he's enjoying himself. Hydro Hydrolic. Acid. I don't know if I pronounce it right. Hydra. Acid. Whatever. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business, unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me like off? a good man. No, See, so you let me go. That just how, shows how nice he is. Nitrous. Did Alice actually have that fox thing at the beginning of the game? And like, cause I, my first place where I actually did rob the store, so yeah. Oh, get it. Did you already have one? I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Yeah. Sometimes I for some wait, hold on. Sometimes I imagine he's gonna end up killing himself actually. From the drugs he's gonna overdose at one point. Even if it was off screen. Yeah, it's not the first time from what it seems that these game that this game will actually kill people off screen and I mean that's happened to Carl. At least I think he died off screen. He might have actually died from the heart attack.
Yeah, I mean the game. Wait, is a lot of shit. No, it doesn't allow us to see it. But it's blurred out. If you pay attention, you can actually do, do you see see something about like some kind of thing. But if you and it said YK five hundred. But if you're thinking that was Kara or uh, uh, the AX four hundred, not the K five hundred, which if you think about it, actually let's say that. Uh, kind of, I guess you can think that you know it might have something to do with Car or Alice. Let's see, can I say Kara? Last thing, uh, since this guy's a druggie and a drinker and all that, the last thing he needs is the gaming setup. Now, for sure, it just seems like he is, especially since he seems to have some kind of rock music thing. I don't know. So it looks like something that you, I don't know, I guess have if kind of rock star teenager kind of guy. I don't know. So I feel like I will end up actually killing Todd again because that's what happened originally. When I first played the game, I actually ended up killing Todd by accident because what what, ha what happened was I was playing it and I accidentally shot Todd when I thought like when it said reached for the gun I or something like that I thought I thought I was reaching for the belt because he had a belt on him and I thought it was actually he was she was reaching for the belt but she reached for the gun and it killed and him. Sports. First up, basketball. As the gears prepare for the critical match with Denver tonight at the Cyberlife Arena in Detroit. Oh, damn it, I was actually... Okay, oh, damn it, I was gonna... Never mind. I'm gonna make some joke about that cartoon. Yeah, it shuts off. I was gonna make a joke like, uh, he, he got out of way, he used some kind of smoke. Is that a joke kind of thing. I actually don't even know where I can actually do this thing. She kind of discovering still new things. That's what I kind of like about this game. Is that I, I always kind of still discover new things. I think about sure I imagine this would actually be used for something, but I don't know. Kind of racist, if you ask me. It's because I'm an android and you're human. No, I'm just kidding. And censors it. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? But I thought her memory Alice got wiped. I'm just kidding. Of course. If anyone asked me, it always already feels like uh, Kara seems more deviant. She seems to have more, much more emotions. And she kind of already did. I feel like maybe she already kind of did. It would be really surprising, actually, if Alice was the actual thing that the androids that were...
based off, I guess, or the same model as Alice were actually based off Alice. And say, for instance, Alice dies later on in the story or whatever, and it was actually Alice or whatever, or it was an actual human, not an android or whatever, if that makes any sense to you guys. The camp thing or whatever, I never even got that scene, but yeah. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. She said no. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? I think you're putting too many you questions. Tell me about yourself. Honor. What you like to do, where you like to go, your stress. favorite foods. That would really kind of She looks stressed, kind of. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. She's she got scared. No, I'm scared, but yeah. I feel like everyone kind of unlocks that path, unless it's more of that you maybe go downstairs. I don't know. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. Playing? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! Thank you. 